Hello and welcome to part 5 of our SCH overwrite module. In the last part, we enhanced our POC and took control of the execution. In this part, we will further enhance our POC and identify the bad characters for this application. So these are the few software that I am assuming that you as a learner have a basic knowledge of. If you don't or you need to learn from scratch, please check out the resources mentioned at the end of this video. This is a module structure. We are on part 5 that is bad character analysis. So what is bad character analysis? So in bad character analysis, we send all possible characters to the application from hex 00 to hex ff as part of a buffer and see how these characters are treated by the application and if any of these characters are mangled by the application or it breaks our buffer. This is required because if we send bad characters in a shell code, it would break our shell code and we won't obtain a shell. By default, hex 00 is treated as a bad character because it represents a null byte. So let's move this to the lab. So this is the POC that we created in the last part. And here we have a jump to pop pop return instructions. And here we have a short jump to our buffer. Now what I'll do is I'll copy this bad characters variable. Paste it here. I'll change the length of the remaining buffer. So this will become minus then bad cars. And in my bad cars variable, I'll remove hex 0, 0. And I'll add the bad characters variable here. Bad cars. Save it. And now I'll generate the new PLF file. Great. So I have immunity debugger open. I'll open my application. Run it. I'll place a breakpoint at this memory address later. Now I'll open the PLF file. So we have hit our first buffer overflow. I'll pass this exception to the program using shift F9 and we have hit a breakpoint which is toward the pop pop written instructions. I'll step into it, take a short jump and you can see 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06, 079 and after 09 we have a 003 C1. So so here the sequence of hex characters that we send the application seems to be broken and whatever character was there after 09 has broken our shell code for now. So let's go back to POC and identify which character was that. So after 09, we have 0A. I'll just cut this character from here. And I'll put a list of bad characters here. Save this POC, generate, sorry. I'll have to restart the application first. Generate a new PLF file. Run the application and set a breakpoint. One second. and set a breakpoint on the memory location pop pop return and i'll do later i'll open the new pillar file here so looks like this time we have not hit a breakpoint so let's try something else and see what happened. 
now i'll put this variable of bad characters from the last to here plus now i'll restart the application and i'll generate a new plf file now once the application has started i'll put a breakpoint at a memory location sorry not here go to expression and i'll put a breakpoint here later Now I'll open the PLF file again. So we have uh, hit our first buffer overflow. I'll pass this exception to the program. And we have hit a breakpoint. Nine. And then we take a short jump to our knob slide. Let's come down to find our shell code. So here it is. One second. So we have zero one zero two zero. So we don't have zero a and uh, one zero one 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 nine. So after one nine, again our shell code or the string of bad characters that we have sent the application seems to be broken. So whatever character was there after one nine seems to have broken our shell code for now let's restart it and go back to our poc run it and uh, after one nine we have one a so i'll just cut one a from here and i'll paste it here and uh, just put a backward slash save it and I'll again change the position of bad characters variable from here to here now I'll generate a new PLF file and uh, I'll go back to immunity debugger place a breakpoint at the pointer to pop pop return instructions and open the PLF file here. Okay. So we have hit a first buffer overflow. Pass this to the program. We have hit a breakpoint. We'll step into it. Return. Take a short jump. And here we have 0, 01, 0, 02. And if we have character still FF. We know that our shell code was sent properly and there are no other bad characters. And uh, if E and F, F, and then we have the NOP slide. All right. So seems like we had only three bad characters, the null byte, 0A and 1A. Now let's see why these characters were treated as bad characters by this application. So we identified hex 00, hex 0a and hex 1a as the bad characters. Now these characters when they are converted to SKI they translate into following. So hex 00 is translated into a null byte which truncates a buffer and hence it is treated as a bad character by the application. And hex 0a is a line feed or a new line. So this is also treated as a bad character because it truncates a buffer and hex 1a is the end of file which specifies to the application that from this point onwards there are no other characters to be considered. So this explains why our application didn't crash after we sent it the buffer again after removing hex 0a character. It is because when it encountered hex 1a it treated it as the end of file and at that time the length of our buffer was sufficient and the buffer overflow vulnerability was not triggered. So as I said that null byte is treated as a global terminator and similarly line feed and end of file also truncate a buffer and hence they are treated as bad characters for a shell code. 
So these are the few learning resources that you can use to learn more about the software or techniques that we are using in this module or in the previous module. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next part. Meanwhile, please subscribe to our channel Yaksha CSC and follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at the rate Yaksha's 443. And if you want files or PDF slides for this or the previous module, all you have to do is tweet about either of the module, mention our Twitter handle and once we receive your tweet, we'll send you the download link for files via Twitter DM.